Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here with uh, another uh, thing from Java Monster, and this is coffee energy drink. And this is Swiss chocolate, and this is part of a... So I saw Trav do a collab with the endorsement a while back, and this was a... a it said it launched exclusively from Dollar General. And I saw... I didn't see it till today. I saw the reviews, but I didn't see the product in my Dollar General till today, because it's weird because... A lot of times, you'll see a product at a Dollar General. It might take while a while for another Dollar General to have it. And they had a big stand on it. And it was like a part of a two-for-four-dollar deal with this and another uh, Monster Java product. So I got another Monster Java product for another review. You know, and, you, and this is one of the things we had to buy the two items to get the discount. Sometimes it might be just two bucks. We had to get two items to get it. So and I got the Swiss chocolate. Cool design on it. Check this out. And you have the pictures right there on the side. See? Look at that. And jar. The other side. That one right there. I like. I think. Let me see the ones I like the most. I think the one I like the most is the guy right there. I think that's the one I like the most right there. That one photo. It's pretty cool. I like the overall look of that, you know. It might miss. Why you hear Swiss chocolate, I think of Swiss Miss. That's the stuff I grew up on as a kid, you know, when you get that, like, that thing. And you have with the marshmallow, you put the uh, chocolate. But this is a little bit different, a Monster Energy drink. It has a thing on it, and it says, uh, uh, Java Monster. The Swiss are famous for mountains, expensive watches, secretive banks, trains, funky knives, and, of course, chocolate. There's a little bit of tongue-in-cheek humor now, which is cool. What could be better than a taste of Swiss chocolate paired with premium coffee and cream and supercharged with our Monster Energy Blend? Java Monster Swiss chocolate is decidedly decadent with rich chocolate flavor and a silky smooth finish that Alps are calling Yolehu! Yolehu! I'm not very good at doing that, but it has that right there, Monster Energy. Uh, let's try this out. You know, I got this earlier today. I had a, you know, of course, put it in the fridge and I get nice and cold. I'm not big on uh, like the coffee, cold coffee drinks, but I, I thought I'd get it. And uh, like I said, I got one other item for a future review. So, and you got a little bit of the flower design right there in the can. Can's pretty cool. And of course, you have the traditional M logo right on top of there. So let's try it out. Do you have to shake it up? Let me see. This and this, maybe right. Sometimes it says shake it up, but I don't think it. Brewed coffee. Hmm. Let's see. It's that one there's a consumer responsibility, not re recommended for children. People sense of caffeine, uh, pregnant women or, or women who are nursing. That's, that's important too. I don't see anything about shake well, so I'm not going to. The last thing, I, I mean, it's not carbonated, but I wouldn't want it to go all over the place. Let's go ahead and try it out. Swiss Chocolate Java Monster exclusively launched. It says exclusive launch at Dollar General. Let's try it out. Why do I can smell the, the uh, scent of the milk chocolate? I hope it's good. And it's like a, I don't know anything about frappes or loca mocha chinos or triple summer salt, salt coffees or anything like that, but it's like coffee, uh, chocolate blended in with coffee. It tastes pretty good. It's smooth, but you got a little bit of the harshness of the coffee. I mean, well, you know how the taste the flavor of coffee. Uh, usually, uh, my evolution with coffee growing up, and that's one thing Grammy said we were allowed to have coffee. You know, or, I mean, because Grammy usually said, we can't have this, can't have this. But, you know, she had, like, this table wine. We have wine at dinner table when we were, growing, you know. And Mom didn't say anything, so that was kind of cool. And we said a lot to have coffee. And then I remember as a kid, uh, my taste in coffees changed. Because I would never big into, like, the chocolate coffees, the mocha, cappuccinos, uh, and the frappes and stuff like that. Or, like, those really unusual, overly decadent, things at Starbucks that they sell. 
as a kid, I usually would get milk and sugar in my coffee, right? And then a little bit later on, I would go and I, my mom used to get that, uh, that non-dairy creamer. I think she got the name brand. I can't remember what it was. No, Coffee Mate. I think it was Coffee Mate. Not the flavored one, just a regular one, you know, the powder. You know, she'd get that. And then when I was in the army, I remember getting a coffee pot. In Germany, I tried the cream and the coffee, and I didn't care for it. I still had sugar in my coffee, though. And then getting out of the army, I started just drinking the black. That's the way I usually drink it now, just straight. But this is actually pretty good. It gives you a good chocolate bolt with the, your coffee intake. I'm not really big in the coffee drinks, those chocolate coffee drinks like this, but I do like this. Will I get again? I mean, probably not. Cause I'm just not big into it, but it does taste good. I give it a 9 out of 10 for uh, Java Monster Swiss chocolate. So I hope you like this and my talk about my evolution with coffee. I mean, it's just like as you get older, your tastes change. Just like as far as chicken is concerned, when I was little, my favorite the part of chicken was uh, uh, leg. And then as I got older, it was the breast. And also the wing, of course, and the thighs are always good too. And the least part, favorite part of chicken now is the leg now. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's weird how we evolve and our tastes change. But I hope you liked this video, buddy. Until next time, please. Jim Elite. Yeah, good.